let, let me first of all say I was the first man in the world to break the indoor four minute mile. And the basic difference uh, between indoors and outdoors, particularly at the time when I was competing in Madison Square Garden and other arenas, is that in, indoors you run on a, uh, when I was competing on an 11 lap, 22 turn bank track, as opposed to outdoors when you ran on a quarter mile track, uh, you're sweeping turns, long straightaways. So as a consequence of that, uh, the outdoor times will always be faster than the indoor times. The, the race when I was involved with Peter Snell, well, that's really probably the, 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 one of the most unfortunate in my mind and my heart races that I ever had. And the reason why is that the week before, I had raced 5,000 meters against Murray Halberg, the Olympic gold medalist at the Coliseum Relays. And I ran the last, uh, the last part of the race uh, roughly uh, in about 22 seconds for 190 yards, which was really a great kick. And I annihilated Halberg at 5K. I was racing Peter the next week at Modesto, and unfortunately on Tuesday, I suffered a collapsed quadricep in my left leg. I was in such great shape, Coach Igloy had me prepared to run between 351 and 353. But Snell's world record was 354.4. He had broken Elliott's 354.5. So when I raced Snell, what, what happened was I wasn't able to kick. He won the race. We raced again in Compton. He ran 355 flat. I ran 355.5 with a collapsed quadricep. So in my heart, I still think, had I not suffered a collapsed quadricep, it would have been the greatest mile since Vancouver in 1954 between Bannister and Landy, and one of us would have broken the world record in Modesto that night. I don't know who, but one of us would have. In that period, I think that when uh, particularly wide world of sports got involved in the Olympic sports, and, and I think track and field was the, uh, the catalyst that, that brought that into the homes of America and showed uh, other young athletes that there were other sports like the Olympic sports that they could pursue. And I personally have always said I think that was the single greatest Olympic development thing that ever happened in the United States. And, the, and I've, I have always commended the late Rune Arledge, and he's the man that started it.